Hello and welcome to your daily news and information update. Today's topic, a new view of the recovery. Nuriel Rubini, a professor at the Stern School of Business at New York University, is considered an authority on global macroeconomics. His tenure at NYU has brought new prestige to the Stern School, an already renowned institution. And his professional career includes advisory stints with the U.S. Treasury and International Monetary Fund. His RGE Monitor is a successful research and analysis firm for international economics and finance. Yet most of Rubini's popular acclaim comes in light of the downturn of the past two years. Rubini is widely considered a doomsayer in the economic community. But for the most part, his pronouncements about the timing and severity of America's national economic collapse were accurate. A new piece, published in the Taipei Times, outlines the recovery being witnessed in the U.S. today. Many have said that the slight market recovery and the return of oil profitability were signs that demand was trending up and that the market was getting better. Rubini has a different idea. He believes that the United States is experiencing something aptly called a W recession. This is not an ode to the former president, whose administration is responsible for much of this market turmoil, but rather to the shape of market trends. In a W-shaped recession, market indicators plunge for a prolonged period and are followed by a sharp, rapid recovery. This recovery lasts for only a short period before another general plunge. Eventually, the market corrects itself back up and begins to trend upward once again, but at this point, it is far below its former height. Rubini's belief is that the American economy will experience this market roller coaster. This is a revision of his, of his stance last April. This change is largely driven by the ineffectiveness of government stimulus projects and foreseeable increases in taxes and government bond yields. Most importantly, it hinges on the speedy rise in oil prices, which act as a double-edged sword. To a point, oil props up the markets, but after that point, they suppress demand and lead to stagnation. This was the case last summer when oil prices peaked near $147 per barrel. Right now, the Treasury, Congress, White House, and Federal Reserve are all talking about a recovery in the next year or two at most. They point to current conditions as the first signs of such an upturn. The fact remains that such a recovery is still a long way off, and there is no guarantee that any increases today will not be gone tomorrow. On behalf of Concerned Citizens, I'm Craig Carrington. For more on this and other related topics, please tune in daily to economyincrisis.org. Wake up, America! Open up your eyes! Wake up, America! Wake up!